Hello 505 uh, colleagues. This session I've been experimenting with voice typing with Google Docs and as I sat down this morning to do the first kind of round of responses I thought I would make this quick video on how I've been using voice typing in Google Docs. So here we go and it goes uh, something like this. First you see that I have the screen divided into the DQ on one side and Google on the other side. To get to voice typing you go to the little gridiron up there and go to the Google Tools and click more if it's not it doesn't appear first and then Google Docs and then click on new Google document or blank document. Then up at Tools uh, you Click on it and pull down to uh, voice typing. Uh, that's a movable little doodad there. I move it out of the way. Then I just click on the microphone and start talking into the microphone. I use three basic commands, comma, period, and new paragraph. I'll let you listen to a little bit of my talking here. Hello, comma, Janine, comma new paragraph. Thank you for this excellent response to DQ9, comma, the pre-presentation DQ in which you think about best practices for when you actually give the presentation, period. New paragraph. I really like how you divided each of your answers to each of the questions into short paragraphs and included a numbered list with one of the answers, period. This is As you can tell, it's okay to kind of pause so and get your thoughts together to say the next thing that you want to say. Google voice typing really doesn't care how long you pause. was also specific and included references to our weekly. You can go too fast, so one thing you'll notice is that I'm not talking at a normal rate, which is about three words per second. I'm down to more like two words per second. Authentic passion and authentic enthusiasm. Talking in that slow of a voice has kind of become natural for me as I've been experimenting with this throughout the throughout the session. Enthusiasm on your side. You will win over the audience and keep them almost regardless of what your subject matter is. Period. About the open hands, comma, unless you are having a real problem with gestures or someone has pointed out something distracting, comma, my advice is to go natural, period. In other words, focus on what you're saying, comma, keeping your energy... Let me fast forward to the end of this. Okay, once it's finished, then simply copy what is in the Google Doc without doing any corrections whatsoever. Then I go over to the DQ. I use a little back to the student's name so that the student kind of recognizes this as my post. Then I paste it in, unedited. Grammarly starts doing its thing. Thank God for Grammarly. And then I uh, read through it and just uh, first take Grammarly's suggestions as I read through. So far, uh, Grammarly's doing a good job. Okay, there. here's a Google Doc mistake. I should have said enunciation instead of enunciation. But it looks like Google Docs did really well. I think I forgot to say period there. That is my mistake. So one strike against Google 
stocks, two against me. Uh, that was my mistake. I forgot the comma. Three strikes against me. Four strikes against me. I've left out another comma. Um, five strikes against me. I forgot to say period. Man, Google Docs is kicking my rear. Okay, here's a Google Docs. It interpreted me saying new line as no line. So I've got to go in and physically make the, the switch. That's it. Wow. Who wins that round? Google Docs. Click Submit. This is what it looks like once it's submitted. Looks pretty good. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, definitely you get better at it uh, as you go along. Your ability to kind of comment on the fly, but don't forget that pausing is not a problem. Another thing is that Google Docs uh, learns you and your voice and even some of the words that you say that are not usual like DQ you'll notice that it picked up the second time I said it. The big thing is the freedom. Um, the voice typing I have found since I no longer have to focus on thinking about what I'm going to say and making my fingers do the right things on the keyboard I am really am free to give more thoughtful advice because I'm not thinking about two things at once. I'm focused just on Janine and just on what my true reactions are and what I really need to say and what I want to say to best motivate and to best move Janine along. So I have found that that to be a kind of freedom that I really uh, value and makes me want to continue using this technique. Also you'll probably notice that you can get in a lot more commentary when you're talking than when you're typing. And uh, that, not that more is always better, but the more freedom you have to say more, the more likely, at least I am, to hit upon something good to say. So uh, that's it. That's uh, Google Doc voice typing. Hope it helps. Talk to you later.